What's up guys, we're going to go into another survivor game. So I'm just grouping up with everybody to get those reunited bonuses. Very important if you see survivors at the start of the game to get those bonuses. It definitely adds up. So I've been fairly successful ranking up on survivor. And I feel like there's a lot of people that ask me how I rank up all the time. And you really have to just think about it, right? We need two full circles to get a pip out of it. That's what our goal should be from the very start of the game. Uh, so you have to think that the first circle you get is going to be escaping. If you can escape, you know, 75% of the time, there's one circle right there. All you have to worry about is getting that secondary circle. There's a couple different ways you can get that circle. Some of them uh, involve you know, attracting killer's attention and getting some boldness points. If you're not very good controlling your survivor, it's still possible with generators, and I would even recommend a toolbox if you're um, going to go that route because you can destroy like one hook and you'll get a thousand points out of it, which is a fifth of a circle as well, which is pretty solid. If you take add-ons, you can even get two hooks out of it, which is even more. So there's one way up into this building. We're just through that door. He's coming. Nope, you might not have seen me. Yep, here he comes. So I actually didn't get many escape bonuses, I don't think, yet. He's still following me, but there we go. There's an escape bonus right there. So chase plus escape, two escapes, that's 750 right there. So there's one-fifth, just about one-fifth of a circle already. And that wasn't too crazy uh, control or anything. I mean, I, I was just looking behind me and kind of knowing that building, knowing where I can loop. And he has to leave me alone. I could have kept doing that. And I do that more often when I take a med kit with me like I do now. Um, I don't mind playing kind of bold and playing in the face of the killer as long as I have a med pack and I'm full health. As soon as I get injured, I'll use my med pack and then I play a little bit safer. If I get injured without a med pack, I play very, very safe. Like corners of the map, trying to stay away, trying to stay outside of the heartbeat radius uh, at all costs. Because escaping is my first goal. To get that full circle, I want to be able to escape. So my health is important, but if I have a way of healing myself... Same with med kits, you can take an add-on to heal yourself twice as well, which is very strong. So I will try to see if I can do something here, but... Again, if, if some, don't, don't be too big of a hero. You know, altruism is, is usually my lowest scoring attribute. And don't panic. You can see I just kind of skirted around the edge of that car. He didn't even see me. Okay, so somebody else got him. I did get an assist bonus for 200. Another assist bonus because she got trapped. And the game kind of thinks that you're helping even though you're not. I wouldn't mind healing her. But if she runs away, I'm not going to worry about it. Again, that's how you juke right there. It, when you don't want to have the killer's attention. He's coming back though, I think he sees me. Yep. So I have a really good perk, it's uh... I think Meg is her name? Um, ooh, I got hit. It allows me to run fast for 3 seconds, 150% movement speed for 3 seconds. Alright, he's coming now. I'll start to heal. I'll heal in his face, I don't mind that. I'm getting a bunch of boldness points as well. By doing this. This is where you don't want to make mistakes because you need to get healed up. Alright, so I took uh, add-ons to my med kit, that's why I'm able to heal one more time as well. So I can still play pretty bold if I want to. I'm pretty sure as long as I escape I've already got enough to rank up, and if I don't I just need one generator. There's still four remaining, which is pretty absurd. Uh, if he wasn't so focused on going after me, I would be kind of worried. There's always the worry, and I think that's why I put Rate Trapper so highly as the killer, 
there's always the worry that a good player can accidentally step into a trap because you can't be moving slow all the time. It's just, it's not logical. So if he puts any traps in these in this big grass and I just happen to walk over it or happen to not be paying attention and I get trapped, it's very easy for a uh, you know, killer that probably shouldn't be able to catch you to be able to catch you. You know, a worse killer to actually catch you because of a bear trap. So that's another reason why I rate trappers so highly compared to the three killers. So I don't have a whole lot of objective points. It's about one third, maybe a quarter of a circle. When I talk about circles, it's when they pop up on the left hand side. You can see as they fill the circles up, you know that escaping is going to be one full circle. So as they uh, as they pop up, you can look and try to add together what you have and make sure you have that second circle between all three categories and you'll get a pip. Because you need two to get one pip, four, all four, uh, maxed out to get two pips. I have not done that at all. I'm like rank 13. No, I'm not rank 13. I'm rank like 15, I think. I don't even know. Somewhere in the, that range. It, it hovers a bit. I don't think I've made... I think I've made 14 before, I don't think I've made 13 yet. And I lost a couple from uh, Rage Quits before the patch. So he's actually leaving this guy. Oh, he let himself die. I don't know if he was close, I wasn't paying attention to the bottom, uh, to his health bar, but I could have gotten him off the hook if he had some health left. That's unfortunate. I'm waiting to the that he was going to die regardless, though. So this generator should secure the pip as long as I can escape. I mean, I did some juking, but it wasn't anything too crazy. That loop is fairly easy. You don't have to do a lot of like camera rotation and stuff to do it effectively. Some of them are a little bit tighter in terms of like a killer commits to a direction and you have to get through the window before he catches up to you. Some of them you have a lot less of a reaction window. Some of them also rely on uh, seeing the killer's red light and if the killer knows that, he can turn around and go backwards to not show the red light. It's something that I've been practicing a bit when I'm playing killer. But I haven't really been able to showcase it yet in a video. Alright, so it looks like, like my entire team is dying. I highly doubt that I'm going to be able to save her being the only survivor left. I would say that anybody who wants to rank up, you should be leaving right now. Because this is just dangerous for no reason. But I saw him run away, so I think I might be able to get her off the hook. Uh, maybe not. He's close. Okay, yeah, he's coming back. Sorry, can't help you. If I was a little closer, I might have been able to. Another thing you can do to just get a couple extra points if you're not sure, uh, wait at the exit for the killer to come to you. It's kind of boring, but it will get you like at least 350, roughly, between the chased and the escaped bonus. Just make sure that he doesn't hit you, or if he hits you, you have the health to take it. If he stands here like this, you can also go back and forth to get multiple bonuses, but there we go. Alright, so that should be another pip. Oh yeah, easily. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.